we are gonna actually just not connect the crossover up. Boy is never satisfied with nothing. I think it's done for. But man, that is like a very big difference. Hey, welcome back to another video. It is your boy Mouse. Behind me, I got the stunt wall, man. And listen, boy is never satisfied with nothing. The truck sounds good, man. It is reliable, man. But there's always something in me that tells me, like, mess with it. Play with the settings. Try to get it just a tad bit louder. And at the same time, man, get it to sound a little bit more smoother, too. Really wish I could just leave it alone, guys. But, man. In the previous video, guys, we actually went ahead and changed uh, a few outputs that were coming from the crossover to the actual amps itself the other amps underneath here before the middle section right here which is the 212s and the 210s those guys were going to hd 3000 that is right here but that one in the beginning it was actually ran off the mid low out on the prv crossover with a little bit of testing and tuning as well too we actually switched it over to the mid high output guys and um it sounded volume wise a little bit louder but it was definitely missing the punch that it needed um, like we had when we had it the low mid out. But we lost in gain a little bit, but it didn't matter because we actually went ahead and put three, these three tens um, that are on the other MD3000.1. Uh, we actually switched these guys over to the mid low out and before they were playing mid high out. So we actually did gain a little bit more mid bass. And my theory as well too, um, since these speakers are you know facing each other, they just create a little bit more of a mid bass so we don't actually hear like a lot of like the static thumping sound. And with these two 12s and two 10s facing towards us on the mid high, on the mid high out, uh, we get a little bit more vocal coming out, and that's what we want. And then we obviously we let the tweeters and the horns do a little bit of talking as well too. So either way, uh, however, we actually switched out the RCAs and uh, determined which ones we wanted on the crossover. Um, it still actually worked out for the best, and it was still loud, and it still did what it's supposed to do. Today we're going to work on another theory. Is we're going to actually just not connect the crossover up and we're just going to go from the main rca coming in to just one of the amps we'll just probably do it on the he3000 just because it's the mids that's facing out towards us we're going to see if for some reason it gets pretty loud uh, it could be louder with it it could be not the reason why i actually put the crossover in there is because uh the settings on the uh tear amps they don't have no filters and obviously if you know how to adjust them or if you don't know how to adjust them man these things throw out a lot of mid bass out but you know with the right adjustment you can get it to you know stop all that not throw that much mid bass into it but at the same time you know that's what we want but with the prv crossover it kind of cleans it up just a bit just so it can get that mid bass out to the point where it's not distorting the other thing that we can actually do to get it somewhat a little bit more louder is we can actually put the mids and highs or maybe just the mids on the actual audio control matrix which is a line driver so we can just squeeze out a little bit more higher volume out of it but at the same time when we'd go to adjust everything we'd have to take this guy into consideration um, because at the same time remember man them tear amps do not like a lot of rca input so uh, we'd have to really play with this safely so we can get the best out of it and at the same time sounding good got a lot of testing to do today guys hopefully it will go smoothly um, hopefully we get good results from it but man this is what it's all about man is testing And look, we got those two tenant sundowns right here that you could win just from subscribing to the channel, man. Once we hit 10k subscribers, we're definitely going to give these bad boys out. Well, they're not the best subs in the world, guys, but man, for free, where could you go wrong, man? All from just subscribing to the channel, man, hitting that like button, and definitely dropping some comments. All right, so your boy has been looking for this bag for the longest. Are you ready to see what's in it? Are you ready to see what's in it, man? Look, check this out, man. I, I have been looking for this stuff for the longest, guys. Uh, this is for, like when I was going to hook the nitrous up on my trailblazer. We have some extra RCAs. Uh, we have the light box for the LED lights. That was really awesome. I'm glad I found this. And then here I have my other stash of lights and a control box, the remote eye, and all that stuff. Okay, so this is going to come in handy when we do the lights. Then, man, I found my JL Audio uh, 1200-1. I think that's what this is. Oh, it's a 750 slash one, man. I, th I always say I have the seven, the 1200 slash one, but it's actually a 750 slash one. And here in a little bit, I'm gonna just be connecting this guy up and see if it still works. And if it still works, guys, um, we are gonna find what we can do with this thing, man, because it is 750 watts and it is JL audio power, so it's gonna do some pretty good stuff. 
think this is actually a power acoustic amp. I could be wrong. This, this guy is big in here. It's actually a PPI amp. It is a PPI amp. If you guys don't know what PPI is, man, you better ask somebody. And it is a five channel. So we'll say it's like a 400 watt amp. So this guy right here could probably be good for the eights on top. Who knows? We'll see if this guy works. But obviously, if we put a few extra amps in the truck, guys, we have to put more power, more battery power in it. So we'll see how that works. But I'm actually hoping this guy works a little bit better. Um, so we can actually put this in here, guys. So let's actually go test this guy out real quick and see if it works. So this JL Audio amp at once upon a time, it actually powered up the eights and the tweeters in the back because it is a four channel but man it just flashes it goes into protect so it's probably already messed up so we're just gonna see if this jail audio amp even works or turns on it was it used to work but then after a while like i said i just took it out so let's see what it does okay, power. Okay. and listen the um the eights on the back, man, they make a big difference when they're playing because when we're actually in um, underneath like uh, the gas station and it's playing, like sound reflects us from the, that roof. So um, having them playing would be really badass. So we'll see right now. I'm going to turn on the, the power for the back amps. Okay, you see it's flashing, it's flashing. Oh man, look, it's, I think it's done for. It is not doing anything. You see, I think that just means that it's into protect. That's why I took it out. That's very, very, very sad. So let's actually connect the uh, JL Audio amp and see what the other one up and see what it does. Okay, so that didn't go according to plan. So we'll just take this guy out and then we'll bring the other JL Audio amp in. It's probably gonna spark right now. But Let's see what it does. So this one actually comes on, but if I remember right, whenever I start playing it, it would clip out. Um, but because I feel like one of the terminals was actually messed up on it, let me see. See how right there it's missing that one? So that's actually really, really bad. Um, so let's actually connect the eights up to this and see what it does. Got RCAs connected on it. Let's play a little bit of music and see if it plays. Like I said, man, one thing about these PRV crossovers, man, you can just turn off whatever you're not using, which is really, really badass. So we're gonna turn that guy off, and I think that was the mid low out, so we're gonna turn off the mid high out. Clean up all this wiring right here because it actually makes me feel gross. So we're gonna actually clean up all that shit um, throughout time before the Florida Classic because I just want it to look neat back there. It'll make me feel better at night. I actually do hear a little bit of hissing coming out the eights. So pretty much right now what's gonna be playing is all the eights. taking a dump guys to be honest with you so what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna take this guy out okay so I actually just unplugged the front end from the crossover well, I'm gonna plug it right into the actual amp let's see how that sounds right off the bat some reason I feel that my main RCA which is this one and it's actually a sky high RCA um, man it is not you know it is acting funny so what I'm actually gonna do is I have another RCA and I'm just gonna run it direct from the EQ to the back and see what it does because it's playing kind of statically so it could just be the RCA or the amp you know right now we're gonna put a newer uh, RCA in it and see what it does and if not then it's the amp remember like it was acting kind of funny as well too with the crossover so maybe the crossover is good and just maybe the RCA was bad so and you know the Tipino EQ is new so man let's just try the RCA RCA from the back of the EQ straight into the JL audio amp and now let's test this out and see if it sounds cleaner 
Let's actually try it out again. I think I have RCA problems. So the frequency was at like 120 on the JL audio amp. So I feel like that one was making the speakers like pop and all that stuff. So let's actually hear what it sounds like. <laughs> actually try something out real quick guys so as much as I try and I try but the JL audio amp is shit but luckily with us uh, testing out the JL audio amp we actually found out that we have a bad RCA so we're gonna have to swap out that bad RCA so I actually put that on the list to do so now I actually have two bad JL audio amps and no wonder that thing was actually hidden because it was just messed up guys so hopefully when we move into our new shop coming the next year um, those amps will just be on the wall as trophies of um, flexing a little bit too hard. Uh, real disappointing, but it is what it is, guys. Um, we don't even use JL Audio like that no more. If it was going to work, we were going to use it, but not no more. So now for the actual test itself, we are actually going to go ahead and just connect the RCA into um, the amp directly and see how it sounds versus um, having it connected through the PRV crossover. But um, something tells me that, you know, it was all along the signal of the RCA that was not making that work. And we'll actually try that in a little bit. But we're going to actually see what this sounds right now with just the RCA connected with the same settings. So let's connect this guy in. Here like that. What you're going to be playing right now is the MD3000, which is going to be on the 610s. And then after that gets done, we'll actually connect the same RCAs into... Uh, the 212s and the 210s to see how that sounds. Sound good, it could sound bad, who knows, but we're gonna find it out. Okay, let's hear. This is just straight from like uh, EQ from the front, uh, running directly to that with no crossover in line. Oh dang, it's already basing. down the gain just a little bit and we'll slowly bring it up because that thing was actually quadding. So let's see what this does right now. Hold on. It definitely is beating harder than what it was with that crossover. So let's actually turn this down just a bit. Turn the frequency up just a little bit just so that thing is not beating like crazy. Gain it down a little bit. We'll put the gain up halfway. See how it sounds. crossover and line that thing is beaten it's like bass so now let's actually move the RCAs into the HD 3000 and see what that does for the other vocals let's see what it does let's see if it wakes up so now it's the 212s and the 210s let's see what that does So we 
definitely got to turn that down. That's a whole nother level, guys. No wonder they use those crossovers. So let's turn this. And that was not even turned up all the way. Wow, guys. But oh, man, that is like a very big difference. We have to do the white splitters on one of each amp just so we can hear it both together because that thing is like, wow. Very, very impressive. One of my friends told me he doesn't use this crossover because it does, you know, take a, a little bit of volume wise, man. But wow, I, it is crazy. It did get louder, guys. Let's see what this does now. So this right here is both the 610s and the 212s and the 210s plane, but no tweeters. Let's see how it sounds. It's quadding out a little bit. That thing is pumping, guys. So obviously, if we go this route, we're gonna have to like readjust everything from the front to the back. Like literally, just take one day, just adjusting stuff. Up. Obviously, um, this is just a testing session. So nothing's actually set in stone, but I do know what route I'd actually want to take now. So it's going to require us to do a little bit of testing and tuning and just make sure everything is connected pretty good um, just to get the max put out of it, guys. Because listen, like these things, like it just, it's crazy how louder it actually got without with just unhooking those PRB crossovers. Obviously, they were restricting them from you know being loud so i i wonder now if like we were to actually put a real deal dsp versus the crossover what it will actually do but like i said like i have two friends that do this whole stunt wall stuff and they don't use no dsps no crossovers or nothing it's just straight from eq to amp um but he does have a lot of eqs so he controls a lot of everything um so we're gonna have to explore that option but you know you guys let me know what you think in the comments um, no crossovers, no DSPs, straight EQ to straight uh, amp. Get a few more EQs and then see what it does because it did wake it up. You can like hear it and feel it, but now it's just a matter of just connecting everything and making sure everything uh, is going to work all together uh, without going into clipping or anything. Um, so it, it, it does work. It does work. Enjoy today's video, man. You know, like I said, we our November is going to be very, very busy for us, guys. We got a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, man, you know, stay tuned for all the videos, testing and tuning. Uh, and then we're gonna get back to everything uh, probably uh, Saturday because uh, Friday I gotta cut hair and you'll be watching this video on Saturday. Guys, definitely stay safe, man. Stay tuned. Like this video, drop some comments, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let's get to 10K subscribers. And man, someone's gonna walk away with themselves, man. But for now, I gotta get a new Powerade and I'll catch you guys in the next one.